Hello and welcome to a special Kung Fu Science Debunks because uh, today when we're posting this video it's the 20th of July 2009 and that's the 40th anniversary of man landing on the moon. Um, so I thought I'd debunk, uh, there are some people out there that claim that the, the moon landings were all a hoax and made up in some film studio somewhere, uh, which is absolute nonsense and um, they give a few sort of um, arguments, well they give loads, and um, the, the main ones that I've come across I thought I'd debunk today. First up we have the Van Allen belts. Now these uh, are actually, they do exist, it's where uh, the energy, the cosmic rays from the sun interact with the atmosphere and the radiation there is pretty intense and the, the people that believe the moon landing was a hoax will tell you that uh, passing through that you'll get irradiated to death and so you couldn't possibly pass through those without um, dying and so obviously they couldn't have got to the moon. Well, the Van Allen belts do exist, and uh, it's true that if you were to go through them, uh, you, you would get irradiated. But um, if you're travelling in space, you need a little bit of protection. It's called a spaceship. And uh, Apollo 11 that travelled to the moon offered them sufficient protection uh, to get through. Um, obviously, you're not going to be sort of flying naked in space, uh, which would be pretty uh, dangerous on account of not just the radiation, but, you know, the vacuum, which would kill you before the radiation did. Um, so yes, the, the Van Allen belts, um, that argument, bogus. Next up, you might have heard they'll uh, tell you that the, the pictures are all faked, and you can tell this by the fact that there are no stars in the sky. Reason being, obviously there's no atmosphere, no clouds and everything, and uh, the sky should be littered with stars, so why don't they uh, appear up in any of the photos? This just shows an ignorance of how photography works. Um, a number of things. Firstly, if you look at all of the uh, the photos, you're looking at uh, people in bright white suits. On top of that, we've all had uh, experienced, I hope, uh, lovely cloudless nights where you can basically read with the, just the light of the moon, and um, you know the, the light that's reflected up there is very bright. Now, if you think about it, if you're taking a photo on the moon, you're going to need to have a very short exposure time so that you can pick anything up at all without it getting overexposed. Uh, and this is what they've done. And understandably, the, the, the stars in the sky just don't have enough time to get picked up on the, these, these photos, which is why they're not there. So again, if they tell you that there's no stars in the sky, um, direct them to a photography course. Uh, what else do they claim? Oh yeah, for example, the, the, um, they say that there should have been billowing clouds of dust from the, the lander uh, taking off and, and landing. And again, there's an important point here. You're, you're not on Earth. You are on the Moon, which has no atmosphere. Now, there's a thing called Brownian motion, which is basically how particles get knocked about in the atmosphere. It's because there's lots of air. And you can see this, um, you know, you get a beam of sun going through, you can see the dust sort of going through the air getting sort of bumped about. And so, if you were to, don't try this at home kids, blow up a bag of flour for example, you'd get big clouds of flour and it'd take ages for it all to, to land. Now you don't get this on the moon because there's no atmosphere for it to do that, it just goes up and then lands. And actually if you were to study um, the, the, the dust there, it's it actually evidence that they did land on the moon because it would be exceptionally difficult to create a huge film studio in a vacuum, which obviously they are, because the dust behaves as it would on the moon with no atmosphere. Um, and you know, it, it would actually be harder to fake that than to send somebody to the moon, really. Um, actually, cool little fact, um, the, the best experimental vacuums that have ever been created are less good than space, the nebula that are out in space, um, stunning pictures of clouds of gas and things in, in space are um, less dense than our best experimental vacuums, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, what else have they said? Oh yeah, on some of the photos, um, the shadows seem to point in, um, not sort of straight lines, but they sort of diverge uh, from each other. Um, and here's a picture of that. Um, now they claim that obviously you wouldn't have shadows behaving like that if there was a single light source. And again, this is incorrect. Um, firstly, if you had multiple light sources, you'd expect more than one shadow, uh, which isn't there. And you can also see this effect actually on Earth. If you go uh, on a nice sunny day onto a very tall building, you can see that whilst there's only one point of light, the, the shadows aren't exactly parallel. They, they do seem to, um, you know, go out as uh, in this picture of the moon that we have up. 
Um, so again, that, that just shows that that's a, a silly argument that's based on ignorance. Um, also an important point here, some people confuse ignorance and stupidity. I'm not calling these people stupid, I'm calling them ignorant. They just don't necessarily know things. Um, obviously if they've watched this video and then sort of follow things up and still think the moon landing was a hoax, then I may be less generous. Um, what can you do? So those are just uh, ideas off the top of my head. Um, but basically, I'm going to direct you to um, the Bad Astronomer's uh, website. He's got loads of, 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 the, of the arguments the moon hoaxes use and how they're wrong. And um, that's basically it. So happy uh, 40th anniversary for landing on the moon. Great accomplishment. And uh, till next time, take care. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.